you're back. <laughs> that was pretty quick, to be fair. I'm told I'm taking you and TJ with us to meet with Nathaniel. Um, yeah. I believe so. You must have been back. I thought you only just got back. You must have been back long enough to speak with Tobias. Right, well, we're leaving right now. <laughs> Hold on. Already? I, I, you only just got back. It doesn't really make sense to me. I don't stick around here for very long, so... Yes. It's only about 20 minutes away, so we won't be gone long. Um, alright, I, I suppose we can head out then. But before we go, B, there's a few ground rules I'd like to throw down. I'm the leader out there, so you do as I say. This trade we have with Nathaniel is important, so don't mess it up. Understand? Uh, yeah, I got it. I've spoken to Tobias. I understand how important this trade is to this place. Good. Then let's head out. Yeah. Lead the way, boss. You ready, TJ? You got your... You got your gun? Good. Right. Lead the way, then. Yeah, this side is clear. Okay. <clears throat> There's a nice truck, to be fair. See what he meant about. Right, okay. Um, you okay, TJ? Just stay here, okay? I'm gonna go and see what they're saying, okay? I better stand beside Connor, because you know how he can be. Right. <clears throat> okay. So, um, conversation, or are you just gonna stand there? Connor! It's good to see you. New friends? Uh, yeah. B and TJ. Uh, Brent, uh, actually. Nice to meet ya. So, what can I do for you this time? It depends on what you've got. The thing you're always getting. Car 98k ammunition. I also have a few boxes of random bullets and some full clips. Well, we'll take whatever you can spare. Everything I just told you about can be spared. Do you have the medication and food? We do. You always tell me not to ask, but I'm going to. Why do you need so much medication? <laughs> do you want the short answer or the long one? Short answers are kind of my thing, so... Short. Okay, we get shot at a lot. Because we travel and trade with random survivors. People out here want what we have. There's looters, raiders, bandits. Plus, you know we have the only working vehicle for miles, so obviously people want it. Luckily, we've never actually been shot point blank, but we have been grazed many a times. That, that still doesn't explain why we trade things. We trade ammo and weapons to you. You give us medication and food. The food is for us. Most of the medication we trade for other things. There's people out here that we meet with regularly who count on us for that medication we trade. Hold on. So you're trading the things we give to you? That wasn't the agreement. We have no agreement about what I do with the medication once I receive it. Once it's in my possession, I can do whatever I want with it. No. We're done. Deal's off. We're not trading anymore. You're not the guy that decides that. That goes down to your leaders, not the messenger. I'm the one that comes to meet you. I decide if I want to continue. Whoa. Whoa, Connor. Hold it, okay? <clears throat> um. See, you're telling me... Oh, okay. <sighs> um... Oh, is that right? No, okay, it's it's not. Ignore him. Brent, right? Yeah, um... Ignore Connor. He's a bit full of himself, as I'm sure you know. He is. So you're saying that the deal is continuing? Yes, I am. Because... Connor explained to me right before we left, and he's gone against his own word, but... 
I understand how important this trade is to Swift Creek, and I know that the leaders there wouldn't want it to stop just because Connor said so. Good to hear. I already like you better than Connor. My son seems to like your boy. Yeah, um, I was actually told that they'd probably get along. So, are we going to get on with this trade, or what? Yes, but I actually wanted to ask you to join us back to Swift Creek first. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hold on, why not? That was so quick, you didn't even think. Wouldn't be for long, but it'll give you and your son a break from travelling. You know, we're bed to lay in, um, off the road, kids your son's age for him to hang around with, wouldn't that be nice? My answer is still no. <laughs> you said you'd say that. So, actually the Rev would like to see you. Oh, Tobias? Uh, yeah, um, he says he wants to cash in that favour. <laughs> Why didn't you say so sooner? Of course we'll come back with you. Just like that? Just like that. All right then. Suppose we'll meet you there? <laughs> no. What's the point of you walking if I'm going there anyway? I'll give you a lift. Wait, are you sure? Any friend of Tobias is a friend of mine, so of course I'm sure. <laughs> we really appreciate that, even if Connor doesn't. We'll handle the trade once we get to Swift Creek. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, yeah, sure, that was quick. Um, right behind you. Um, okay, yeah, you lead the way. Just let me speak to Connor. You tell me not to interrupt. You say, oh yeah, don't do any of the talking. I'm the leader out here. You say all that, and you tell me how important this trade is to Swift Creek, and you go ahead and say you want to cancel the entire thing just because you're too big-headed to admit or to accept... I don't... I don't even understand what you were doing right then. So what if he trades the medicine? You trade it to him. Once it's out of your hands, it doesn't really matter what he does with it. What do you think he does with it? You think he takes it all? Him and his son? You think they take the entire thing? Of course they don't. It's common sense, really. Jesus. Of course they trade it, and plus, isn't it a good thing that he's out there helping people in need? He's trading the medication to people that need it? Isn't that a better use of it than it sitting at Swift Creek in some box somewhere not getting used? When there's people out here that can use I, I honestly don't understand you, Connor. There is something about you that just really irritates me, <laughs> to say the least. So, maybe get yourself together and try and not be so irritating in the future. And don't let your, your emotions take over or blind you, make you make the bad decisions like you were about to if I didn't jump in. So, pack up the man's things. And let's get in his camper van. He's going to give us a ride there, as you heard, so be nice to the man. He's bigger than you. Hell, he's bigger than me, and I'm pretty big as it is. Right. Okay, TJ. Um, Nathaniel said he's going to give us a lift back to Swift Creek, so um, if you're ready, we're going to... Hop on into his camper van and we're going to make our way there. Also, you can put away the gun now. Since we're going to be heading to Swift Creek anyway, we can't exactly have our weapons out. But, right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we're all ready to go. Ready when you are.